I'm Emily Hill, and I'm doing Walk Like an Egyptian. Hi, I'm Samina Reiling, and I'm doing Hieroglyphics. Hi, my name is Thomas Tressler, and I'm doing Fast Facts. Hi, my name is Zach Ripke, and I'm doing Pyramids. Welcome to Ancient Egypt. We hope you enjoy your trip. Ancient Egypt Pyramids. Pyramids were also known as the House of Eternity. The Greek, the word pyramid came from the Greek word pyramus. Pharaohs were buried under a step pyramid rather than inside the real pyramid. This is a picture of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Magical te text on pyramid from is death and disaster to whoever tried to plunder them. Pyramids were royal funeral homes. It was a great honor to be buried near the king. This is what it would look like inside of a pyramid. A pharaoh sarcophagus was placed in a burial chamber facing the west. The pyramids relate to the concept of resurrection. The east being the land of the living, the west being the land of the dead. In an empty chamber, the pharaoh's things that he would need in the afterlife would be here. Pyramids were higher than the Nile flood plains, so water doesn't get in the pyramids. Curfew's father, Snerfew, built the first true pyramid at Desher. He appears to also be the first pharaoh to start naming the pyramids. Pyramids were positioned by many factors, including the position of the stars. It was told it took 100,000 men 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. Some of the most famous pyramids are found in Giza. The first pyramids were used to bury kings. They laid in an underground ch chamber at the bottom of a shaft. A pyramid was a four-sided triangle-shaped figure that was made for archetypes, universal patterns, and human behavior. The Great Pyramid of Curfew was estimated to have 2.5 million limestone blocks with an average weight of 2.5 tons. Just explain, you know what you could do? Explain what that is. This is a pyramid tour that will tour that will show you about um, what it, what it would look like inside of a pyramid. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics are a form of ancient Egyptian writing that has over two thousand symbols. They were divided into two groups: phonograms and ideograms. Their use decreased after the Romans conquered Egypt in thirty BC. This is King Tut's tomb, and hieroglyphics were put into coffins as biographies and believed to guide the dead through the afterlife. Pharaoh's coffins had tags on them to indicate who they were, and each pharaoh had his own hieroglyph. This is the Rosetta Stone, and you can find a translation of e Egyptian hieroglyphics on the Rosetta Stone. This large stone contains three different languages and was discovered by the French. Some other interesting facts about hieroglyphics are there were no vowels recorded and they were used to decorate jewelry. They can be written vertically, horizontally, left to right, or right to left. And they may be the oldest form of writing. And the glyphs on the Rosetta Stone took 20 years to translate. They were first employed on buildings and tombs such as to King Tutankhamun's sarcophagus symbols. This is sarcophagus. And determinatives are pictures that mean things like man or woman. And they were put at the end of sentences to give it more meaning. And they used papyrus to write things on like hieroglyphs. Fast facts about Egypt. The Palmer Snow Stone listed the kings of ancient Egypt. Right here is the Palmer Stone. King Tut lived 
to the age range, age range of 16 to 17 years old. In 671 BC, the Syrians attacked Egypt. King Tut's height was 1.69 meters tall. The Turin King list listed the kings of ancient Egypt has grouped the kings according to their descendants or origin. Early mummification was in the sand. The Nile River is over 4,000 miles long and it's the longest river in the world. The Egyptians thought the Nile looked like a lotus flower which represents the symbol for the regeneration of life. In 525 BC, the Persians took over Egypt. Around 3500 BC, early settlers settled in the Nile Valley. The Egyptians called the desert red land and the land around the Nile black land. Egyptians used papyrus for many things like scrolls, sandals, mats, and a lot of other things. They raised a variety of animals. The Egyptians ate many foods such as vegetables, bread, turtle, goose, fish eggs, figs, dates, honey, mushrooms, goat, cheese, and fish, and many more. People lived... People in Egypt lived in mud brick houses. Egyptians took part in many things such as marriage, sports, music, school, and dance. Egyptians wore headpieces, wigs, and many hairstyles. Men, women, and children wore jewelry. They liked big jewelry. Everyone in ancient Egypt wore makeup and jewelry. Women, men, and children. These are some examples. Here's the jewelry and they wore like big makeup. This is a floor pan of an ancient Egyptian house. They have a front room, living room, bedroom and living space, and a kitchen, a sh shrine, staircase to roof, and a staircase down to the cellar. These are some of the Egyptian gods. There are about 114 Egyptian gods. These are just a few. Ammon, Anubis, Isis, Osiris, Horus, Set, Sobek, and Ra. The Egyptians played games with dolls, animal figures, and a game called Seta, which is like checkers. Egyptian entertainment. The Egyptians played Instruments such as Zumera, which is a double pipe flute with reed, flute, trumpet, harps, lutes, which is like a guitar, and lyres, which is a vertical harp with two arms. This is a flute made out of a bone, lutes, lyres, harps, trumpets, and a Zumera. The Nile is the most relaxing and entertaining thing in Egypt. The Egyptians had dancing costumes. And men and women both dance. Also, dancing was very common. The Egyptians did many activities as, as wrestling, archery, swimming, rowing, and assorted ball games. This is wrestling, rowing, ball games, swimming, and archery. School. Boys went to school for about nine years from ages five to fourteen. Ancient Egypt is an amazing place with many cool things and many cool places. I would highly recommend going to Ancient Egypt and seeing the many wonders. We hope you will enjoy your trip to Ancient Egypt.